Ultra video powder tea. Oh yeah, I want to make this quick video pertaining to a problem I received trying to multi-stream to Periscope. And I just ended this live stream, Need Computer Help, where I answer your computer questions. And during that live stream, I could not get my encoder to, as I'm getting an email or whatever, I could not get my encoder to stream to to periscope.tv correctly now you do not need to mess with any of the settings you don't have to mess with the the streaming key with this service I use restream.io restream.io it's entirely free that's my multi streamer that I'm using right now it would not work with periscope it, it kept trying to connect it would never connect here's my solution the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your periscope account first so you want to log into the Periscope account with the Twitter handle that you're using to live stream. It makes it much easier. Then you log into Restream.io. Then what you want to do is highlight the gear next to the Periscope entry. Select it and, and hit Delete Channel. If you click on Edit Settings, there is nothing to edit. You Periscope, all you do in order to use Periscope on Restream.io is you authorize access to the application there are no keys involved so I'm just gonna demonstrate click delete channel and are you sure delete and then go back and add in again and you're gonna have to restart your encoder but that's okay just restart your encoder OBS studio or Wirecast or XSplit so I'm gonna add Periscope again <clears throat> did they move it or am I blind there it is I'm blind okay so now con click on the blue connect periscope you can set it up manually but you don't need to just click on connect periscope and make sure you're logged in to the periscope you want to use because it will detect that you're logged in already and then all you do is click authorize as you can see I'm already logged into my ANET computers periscope Restream would like full access to your account. Click Authorize. And then everything's set up. You, you're going to have to restart your encoder. When I re-added, I deleted Periscope from Restream.io. And then I added it again. I was able to stream to Periscope again. I'm not sure why, but I, all I had to do was delete it and add it again. And then I was able to stream to Periscope. So hopefully that solves your problem where you no longer can stream to Periscope using Restream.io. Tip me via Super Chat on a live stream, PayPal, my contribution form at my website, anetcomputers.com, and or sign up to become a patron on my Patreon page when I help solve your most common computer problems, which would be not being able to, par to multicast to Periscope via Restream.io. Adios.